So Bravo Concealment came out with a new holster, the 3.0, and we actually got one here in the channel for Glock 19. We're actually going to take a look at it, kind of give you like the first impression. We're going to put it on, all that good stuff, and we're just going to talk about it. In the next few months, probably four or five months from now, we do like a review of what I think about that holster. I don't get to wear a lot of outside the waistband holsters here down in Florida. I mean, it's a sunshine state, but it's starting to get cold, so there may be a purpose for that so with that being said guys let's get started <laughs> I welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate the support. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you could be notified. I kind of wanted to give you a couple of holsters that I got here from Bravo Concealment. And really, I've been using this guys for quite some time. For example, this is my home defense pistol right here. MMP9 core. And again, you know, let's bring it out. This is a fantastic pistol. Really dig it. Really love it, right? And this holster, it's just fantastic i actually use this gun pretty much every day because like i say you know this is my home defense pistol right but again you know really fantastic the prices that uh bravo concealment has i mean it's just great the days where the holsters used to be a hundred dollars are over they do got really good prices and again all these holsters like this one right here the glock 43 with the torsion i carry this thing this is my everyday carry fantastic we have the mmp shield here with the same holster the torsion again fantastic they provide great products again you know free shipping 30 day test drive uh again if you don't like it you send it back unlimited lifetime warranty made in the usa i mean the amount of stuff that bravo concealment provide is great and i dig it you would think they pay me about it because i'm a fanboy right they don't pay me to do these reviews again they just send me the gear and like i said you know it's hard for me as a uh, a guy that makes videos here on the internet when all the companies try to get me to review holsters because I really like them. So I don't want to feel like an hypocrite in a way. And the thing about a lot of new holsters that they start in, you know, a garage, a basement, which is totally okay. You know, that's just how it goes. I think they started the same way. But the problem is that a lot of companies disappear. They just don't make it. So when you get that lifetime warranty that you have in these holsters, you know, it's fantastic. But again, you know, when the company disappear in a month, you're really not going to get that warranty. And for talking to Bravo Concealment and all those uh, those guys, they stand behind their products. So if you have any issues, boom, send it back and you'll be all right. All right, so let's move this out of the way and bring the new holster into the table. So this is how you're going to get the holster. Obviously, the other side has my uh again has my uh, uh information we're gonna get that out of the way the holster is gonna come in this nice package right here you open this up i did open it up just to look at it but i really haven't tried the pistol yet so this is going to be the first time that i try this pistol right so again here's the holster and usually you get stickers i didn't see any stickers but usually you get stickers in here this is the holster right here again outside the waistband this is going to be for a glock 19 so you can see it. it's going to be the first time that i try this gun let's get the glock 19 right here let's take this old light light out again this gun is clear all guns are clear here for the purpose of the video and then we're going to just put it there boom oh yeah look at that guys i mean this thing is fantastic oh man i really dig their products i mean look how well and i'm going to take some nice b-rolls for you guys but how nice that thing go like right here i mean it feels really really tight i mean just really nice like i said i'm going to take a bunch of b-rolls for you guys to see it and things like that so again you know it just feels really nice let's let's work it guys let's work it so one of the biggest things that you're going to see with this holster compared to your regular uh, Bravo concealment holster right here, which again, you know, obviously this is a light bearing holster, right? But if you see right here, you have a screw. So this screw right here is going to allow you to obviously mess with the retention. You know, some people like the pistol a little bit looser. Some people like it a little bit tighter. I mean, that's going to be up to you. But again, you could deal with this screw right here and deal with the retention. So far, I'm going to tell you that just from this initial impression right here i ain't gonna be messing with the with the retention i feel that it is really 
nice. But as the time go, maybe you need to tighten it up a little bit or not. So again, very, very nice. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs. So let's get this pistol out of the way right here. But let's talk about some of the specs here that Bravo Concealment claim, uh, claim. First of all, it's going to be set up for a third of barrel. So if you change your barrel right here, you see this right here, you will be able to be okay. Again, you don't have to buy any holster or anything like that. A lot of people buy holsters and then they get a thread of barrel and then they have to like cut it and do a lot of stuff. So it's going to be just set up from the stock, you know, from the from the gate go uh, the right way. Toll size clearance, uh, they claim about 355. And again, I'm going to link it down below for you guys to uh, to check it out. You know, but again, you know, it's set up for an RMR cut. So if you have an RMR in your pistol, uh, it's probably going to be around right here. Uh, it should be able to fit according to the specs. Obviously, it is black in color, and I don't think they're going to be offering any other colors as of right now. A couple of things that they say that this holster will not accommodate. It's going to be a polymer 80 frame, lone wolf frames as well. Glock 19 Gen 1 to Gen 2 and compensator. So keep that in mind. If you have any of those stuff, it is just not going to accommodate. Now, obviously, you're going to see that there is a couple of differences between the two holsters. If you kind of look at the old style holster versus the new style holster, right? So again, the biggest difference is that this is guided and this is going to be some type of injection mold. So again, this holster right here is not guided. It's injection mold. And I think Again, I think that the whole reason why is because I, I think they'll be able to produce more. Again, I, I, I'm just assuming. But a lot of guys nowadays are going into this because the ability to produce a lot of horses at a faster rate. You know, if they got a lot of orders and stuff like that, they got to be able to uh, be able to produce them. But again, that's just my thinking. I'm not really sure about that. But again, it's not going to be kited. It is very minimum design, as you can see. Very nice. The front here, it does have this, the back part has this sweat guard, I think it's called or whatever, this thing that comes up up here. And again, it is what it is, very minimum. It looks like it's curved in a way. So you have like a curving. So that curving should bring your holster closer to your body. And again, it looks like it has the same, you know, bell loops that they've always been using. I want to say you could get in 1.50 or 1.75 injection mold bell loops like it always has been, just like this one's right here. So again, you know, uh, other than that, guys, pretty nice holster. I mean, obviously, you have a screw right here, which is going to allow you to tie up the retention or loose it up a little bit as I stated before. Actually, if you get your hand and you go like this, you know, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel sharp at all. It feels like just very, very nice. I mean, really nice holster. Let's see how it looks on my body. So here you see how it looks on me. So as you can see, pretty hog your body. I mean, the holster is very, very light compared to other holsters. So I barely feel like I have it on and it hogs your body really really well i think this is great choices for people that live up north it's getting cold right now and a lot of guys wear hoodies a lot of guys wear you know jackets and things like that to me is easily way you know very easy way for you to conceal carry a full size handgun now if you are down here in florida state you know barely gets cold right now if i put it with a uh, with a regular shirt and i put the shirt over it's just going to print way too much i don't like it all right guys so there you have it like i said the new bravo concealment holster 3.0 this is just going to be a quick video so you guys can take a look and you guys can see how it looks again we're going to do uh another update in the next few months and hopefully i can tell you how good it carries and all that good stuff let me know what you think put comments down below and as always God is in control.